Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I would like to help you see something on the fretboard that all advanced professional soloists know. And once you can see this, you'll never unsee this again. And this will answer a very, very strong and important question that most beginner and intermediate soloists have, which is, how do advanced professional soloists navigate so easily all across the fretboard and sound so awesome? And this has to do with the logic, the mathematical logic of the guitar tuning, the standard tuning. Now, the idea here is that the notes tend to repeat themselves all over the fretboard. And it's not only the notes. The real breakthrough here is that the shapes themselves, okay, your phrases, your fingerings, your licks, also repeat themselves throughout the fretboard. So let's say we're in A minor pentatonic, okay? So this, okay, eight and five on the first and second strings, also repeats itself. It's the same notes an octave down on strings three and four behind the pentatonic box. But it's not only there, it's also here, okay? It's also above the pentatonic box on the fourth and fifth strings. So if you're playing eight and five on the first and second strings, you can do the same thing here. Now I'm playing eight, seven and five. I'm playing the Dorian mode, okay? Which is a great mode for blues, for minor soloing. Okay, so it's eight, seven and five on both strings. And you can play this on five, four, and two, okay? Behind the pentatonic box on strings three and four. So anything you play here, is repeatable. And you can also play it above the pentatonic box. You can play it on seven, nine, and 10 on strings five and four. You can jump between the shapes and that's how you navigate the fretboard and you play essentially the same lick in different octaves basically. And I'll show you where it's uh, found up the fretboard, but this is pretty much the home base especially for beginner and some intermediate soloists, you tend to start in the home root pentatonic box. So you can expand your soloing options around the pentatonic box. See, it's immediate extra options. You see, you get extra expressions instead of just going all the time, which is the predictable basic guitar sound. So You see, it can prolong your lines as well. And you're only adding this. You're adding the same phrase that you're used to playing in three different places. So um, this also works for other sounds as well. You have the flat five blue note. 
Now, most players play this. But it's not only there. If you know your basic pentatonic blues box, you know you have this. So you can use this. You have seven, five, and six on the fifth string. So you can take it down and play seven, six, five, three. Okay? And then you have the A note. So you can do the exact same thing here. And you have the exact same thing here. Okay, so why not use it? So I assume that you're already aware of eight on the third string, right? The go-to blue note. Now, instead of going to the next string, why not play seven, eight, nine? And then you have options. And you have the exact same thing. Seven, eight, nine, you have it on the second string behind the pentatonic blues box. You have three, four, five. Now you see how this works. You have it down low. You have it in the middle of the guitar. You have it on the first two strings. Okay? You can stay where the pentatonic box is. Okay? You can play five on the third string. And this opens up more options. Now, the awesome thing about this is that you can now connect some of those extra positions because You see? I used the Right? I used this and you can also You can use it here. And you get an extra expression of those same notes. Now, about 789 on the third string, this is an extra pentatonic line that you already know. Now, if you use those basic pentatonic licks, on strings five and four, as I showed you. And you add this, okay, seven, eight, and nine, you get another blues option. And this blues option is the third position of the pentatonic scale. Okay? Because you have... So it's the same thing. Right here. So you see, everything connects. And this is how pro soloists approach soloing. They play the exact same ideas on different places over the fretboard. And then all you have to do is pretty much replicate things that you're used to playing. So, if I'm used to playing something like this on the third position, I can do the exact same thing here. I accidentally played it in Dorian, but you get the idea. It's the same leg. It's the same leg. And if you, you know, if, if you see this, and you know that you're actually playing the exact same thing, you can solo and just throw it in there between other licks, and most chances are nobody's gonna notice that you're actually repeating ideas. Now, um, 
Remember five, seven, and eight on the third string? Okay, the usual blue note, the normal blue note choice. You have it here. Okay, you have it on the second position. You have it in the second position. It's exactly the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. The second position of the pentatonic scale, okay, which is uh, 8 and 10 on strings 1 and 2, you have that blue note okay, on uh, 11, on 11. You have that same blue note, so it's the same shape. And guess what? You also have it on the bass string. Okay, you have the same shape on 3 and 5 on strings 6 and 5. And that blue note, 6 on the 5th string. So, this is how you do it. And it's all over the fretboard. Okay, it's all over the fretboard. And the thing is, remember that 12 frets above, you have the exact same thing. Okay, you have it. You have it here. So if you're up on the third position, okay, now pay attention. This is mind-blowing. Okay, this is positively mind-blowing. Okay, if you're up on the third position, remember this. Which repeats this. Okay, remember this repetition up on the third position? You can connect it to the fourth position, which is your basic pentatonic scale on strings three, four, and five. <laughs> So immediately, you can copy everything that you're doing there. And your next step is that first repetition that I showed you on the fifth position. And you're back where you started. Are you following? The whole thing repeats. The whole fretboard is filled with repeating patterns, repetitive note positions. Whether it's an octave down, an octave up, or exactly the same sound. It's exactly the same sound, okay, in different places. Um, once you see this, once you learn to see this, you will never unsee this. Okay, this is how the pro soloists do it. So um, before you go, let me remind you that one of you is going to win one of these Journey electric guitars in the beginning of January. Okay, one of the new members of my Break Your Boundaries course program is going to be the winner of a brand new journey electric guitar this fantastic fantastic collapsible travel electric guitar so um check out the break your boundaries program on the lick and ref website and i will see you in the next lesson thank you very much for watching bye for now enjoy